What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Olivia DeAndrea. Now, if you're not familiar, uh, I made a couple videos about a series that she had on her channel about three years ago. A good amount of people made videos about this series. This series was called The Glow Up Diaries, and there were some things that people had a little bit of issue with, certain things that were said. Um, so I have this written down as like kind of what she explains as what The Glow Up Diaries is. At rock bottom, I picked up a camera and began documenting my physical and mental pain that seemingly existed without meaning. From age 17 to 20 years old, 22 years old, I recorded The Glow Up Diaries, which is a raw docu-series of my deepest and most painful moments in an effort to find a newer, brighter existence. I openly share my difficulty difficulties despite the insistence of the media that such shameful feelings should be kept in a closet. So this series was something that she it was actually had been doing on her channel for a few for a while, I think over like a year, and people actually ended up uh, apparently getting a little bit sick of it and they're like, "Oh my gosh, we, we feel like you've been trying to glow up forever." The first day is always the hardest. <laughs> About two more miles to walk. So I'm putting on this salicylic acid. Think about the guys in college. Like, do you want to be that girl that the guys don't want to talk to? I'm gonna change you. I'm gonna change you. The journey was taking longer than expected because I was struggling with weight loss. That's really unfortunate. Anyway, it's okay. Don't lose faith. You're going to get right back on track and you'll lose weight. You know, I'm consistent in a lot of things, but when it comes to weight loss, it is so hard. The more I struggled, the more I craved my dream self. I'm starting to picture this person I could look like, who I can be. And she looks amazing and seems amazing. And it, it's just like, everything I want to do is being held back by one thing, and it's my weight. And so she actually kind of disappeared on YouTube for a while. And then she came back with like three really big videos that went like basically pretty viral. And a lot of people started talking about them. And there was there was a lot of good stuff in these videos. A lot of very raw moments that she shared that were clearly very personal to her. Um, but there was also some information that was shared that I just didn't feel was the best along with other people. And so that was pushed back on a little bit. If, if this doesn't make any sense, I I would recommend watching my first video on the whole thing. I will link it down in the description just so you can get a little bit better of an explanation. It has been a few years. There really is a lot of kind of moving parts. But the reason that I'm even talking about this is because this video right here was uploaded um, a couple days ago and it's kind of her coming back to the platform and actually talking about this series and the things that happened because of it. Uh, so the title of this video is How Glowing Up Ruined My Life. And I thought that there are some definitely some interesting things that happen here. So this first clip that we're going to be looking at is obviously it's a little bit through, through the video. Um, I just don't think a lot of it's unnecessary for what I'm trying to share here. But basically this is her after the whole glow up happened and now it's like a month later and and she's sharing things that she was going through, you know, after the series was done, after the videos had come out. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. I went back on YouTube to complete my story and I didn't expect that many people to watch it. And when you've gone so long not feeling good about yourself, the effects of success truly make you feel valued and appreciated. You get hooked on the high of the winds and validation. And you almost feel like you can't live without it. Like, if I failed now, there was really no point in living anymore. Oh my gosh. So that, that I think that's a, a very valid thing to say. When you get so much attention, right? This is stuff that I've talked about with people that like lose weight online. It's really, it's terrifying the thought of coming back online if you've gained the weight back, right? Or just if you're not at your leanest, right, you have so many people that will, they, they looked up to you as this inspiration. They looked up to you as like, this is everything that I want to be. And then if you start slipping, they almost feel like a lot of times people get upset about it and then they take it out on you because they start to feel like, well, there's no way that I can be successful if the person that I looked forward, like looked up to that was successful is no longer successful. Like there's no chance for me, right? And then people will take that on you, which really, so it really is something that you have to be weary of when you are making these types of videos that are more aspirational, right? People are gonna see this 
and they're probably going to expect me to be perfect afterwards. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, if I do something in the future and I do something wrong, people are just gonna think, oh, she's just like her old self. When the external validation feels too good, there's usually another side to it. I was live streaming and then someone commented and then people were like asking, they were like, why do you not look as good as your Instagram photo? And I'm like, because my lifestyle is out of whack and yes, I have gained a little bit of weight back. You start to feel like the world is- It's tough, man. It's like what you see a lot of times when people maybe do physique shows or these bodybuilding shows, uh, you get to this really lean point and then you have so many photos and videos of those times that people see you as that and they assume that that's what you're going to look like all the time obviously that stuff isn't sustainable I don't know exactly what her routine was when she was at her quote-unquote leanest or whatever I don't know exactly what she was doing but probably just wasn't sustainable which that doesn't make her a bad person that doesn't make her evil that is super common right and so I don't I, I don't blame her for that at all I really I really don't at all watching your every move. Like you cannot be less than this standard. I became really self-conscious and even a little bit of weight gain made me feel insecure. Basically I walked in, I, I was like holding myself. I felt uncomfortable in my own skin. I really understood what that meant. And um, not only did I feel uncomfortable, I just felt like I didn't belong. I felt... And like this, this type of thinking can be really dangerous because it can be the start of the landslide, right? So a lot of times people that gain all their weight back, there was, there's never like a moment where they're like, oh, I realize, right? It was like they, they got to their leanest and then they gained a little bit of weight and then they start to, they feel bad about that. And then so they self-medicate with food a lot of times, right? And then it just slowly comes back on. And then they get to a point where they're like, oh my God, what, what happened, right? And so it's like, I think it really is important to have conversations about those unrealistic expectations we have and like not to put so much stock in how lean can I be? You know, it's, it's a lot more important about how can I have a lifestyle that is sustainable for me that I feel is, is realistic um, and something that I can stick to for a long period of time instead of this thing that is going to be aspirational that I can post on, on YouTube or uh, Instagram and like have this crazy transformation in six months, right? Like that's great. But if that, if three months after that transformation, you're right back to where you were before those habits and those really important things that you should have built obviously weren't built again, Olivia, if you're watching this, I doubt you are, but I'm not saying that you're a bad person for doing that. This is common. Like this is very, very, very common. So that's why it's just, it, I don't want to say it's like dangerous to make these types of videos, but that's the downfalls of these types of videos a lot of times. Like, it was easy to be kind to myself when I was my ideal standard, but as soon as I wasn't, it would trigger these negative thoughts and I would start to shame myself. As I was eating my cake, I saw this woman running and I literally saw her and I felt bad about myself. And so that's when you realize it's not about the other person. It doesn't affect your life. What affects your life is if you're running or not. I know why I felt so bad about myself. It was because number one, I was in my pajamas. Number two, I haven't been eating healthy this week. I thought I was just keeping myself in check because when you are being the best version of yourself, you just don't let yourself do these unhealthy habits. My dirty apartment is- This is, this is tough, right? So it's like the best version of yourself. When we talk about that, a lot of times, this is always hard to talk about because I feel like there's a lot of nuance and maybe I'm not the best at explaining it, but like the best version of yourself can change each day. I, I, I hope that that makes sense, right? So like your best version of yourself one day could be waking up at 5 a.m., going on that run super early, getting those things done that you need to do, maybe even having a two a day and lifting later in the day. But then the, maybe a few weeks later, the best version of yourself is like just getting out of bed and like making it to work and doing the things that you need to do and not beating yourself up over it, right? So like if we hold ourselves to the standard that is just not realistic, a lot of the time, we are c constantly going to feel like we are failures at every turn unless we do everything perfectly exactly right. And this is coming from someone that has been through this myself and like has set unrealistic expectations and has dealt with, you know, like the, the depression that comes along with feeling like I am just failing every day, right? So this is, this is still something that I'm working through. And again, I'm obviously not a therapist, but like th these are things that have helped me over time. 
triggering me. My disgusting outfit is triggering me. The fact that I haven't showered in a while is triggering me. <laughs> like... I couldn't maintain a balance in my life, and as a result, I couldn't hold on to my dream body. Holy f I look different. I wasn't supposed to end up like this again. I was not supposed to end up like this again. What the f happened to the pain of who I used to be? I look fat too. Don't throw me out on the streets at this point. I don't deserve this. While my life was spiraling out of control, the online pressure was getting worse. Coach Greg, and today I'm going to be talking about Olivia D'Andrea. She recently posted a video that essentially has gone viral. Nearly we'll be looking at Olivia D'Andrea's blow up diary. I've never gotten so many reaction requests okay. like that video. So I am. Other creators were. So <laughs> that's obviously me with my goatee and <laughs> cool leather jacket. Um, so I, I do want to talk about this. So when I reacted to these initial videos, the reason that I even reacted to it was because in half, half of this video um, is right here. So this is half of the video, right? If you go down here, it's, it starts at 1741 um, in a video that is 36 minutes long, right? So 1731 on is this trainer right here, right? As you can see, this guy right here giving advice that I felt was really bad and like to a point of basically the most like bro science type of advice that you could give the reason I had a problem with this was because Olivia's audience especially then they might be a little bit older now because she's older was a lot of young very young women and this advice I felt was really bad and so I just want to make it clear that like my criticism was almost not about her at all it was more about this guy and i can even um i can even show you if we go to to my original video again it's going to be kind of weird because we're going to see a younger john um but this is what i had to say when i started kind of reacting and, and sharing my thoughts on this whole whole thing so i do want to make it clear like it's hard I know it's going to seem, especially if you're like a fan of hers, that I'm just some mean guy that is trying to make her feel bad, especially because, you know, there's parts of this video that are very real and raw, and I don't at all, like, I don't at all think that she is malicious in what she is sharing. I really don't. I think she's trying to be honest. I'm not really mad at her. <laughs> it's the fact that this guy is doing what he's doing. That's my problem, okay? So if you're a fan of Olivia... I don't think she's a bad person. I think she's actually pretty brave sharing a lot of these really low moments because your boy just doesn't film when I'm feeling like that. And I still feel that way. <laughs> I don't I don't like watching people cry on, on, on video. Um, but so that was at least me. That was my issue. And from, from what I can remember, again, this was three years ago. You can feel free to fact check me. You can go and watch um, the other videos. I don't know, remember exactly what everyone was saying, but a lot of the, at least the fitness commentary was about this advice that was given by this celebrity trainer where people had issue with. So going back to the original video though. Commenting on my journey and it led to me receiving a lot of messages. to be the best version for me and I'm trying to make others feel better as I share my journey. <laughs> it's like, it's like people, I can feel negative comments so happy with the fact that I didn't reach this perfect version. <laughs> so it's like, obviously in, in my video, that was never something I wished. I never wished that she would gain the weight back. And I'm like, oh, you'll see, you know, that's, that's never what I'm trying to do. Whenever I'm making these commentary videos talking about these things, it's like, I, I understand that obviously people are going to watch this. So like, yeah, while it will be a message to Olivia, hopefully she'll be able to hear what I'm saying and, and hopefully take it with, you know, at least understand that I'm not coming, trying to be malicious. But more importantly, if I'm being completely honest, it's for the people that are watching for you guys, right? Like there are threads and there are th things that Olivia might feel and Olivia might say that other people might feel, that other people might internalize themselves that I I feel is important to 
you know, maybe debunk if there's bad information or whatever it might be. So that's why these types of videos, I feel, make sense and are important to still be out there. Now, I do want to skip forward a little bit in the video because I actually genuinely feel that me and Olivia actually <laughs> agree on most of most things now, at least pertaining to this situation, which I think is kind of funny. So I'm going to skip ahead to about 21 minutes into this video and, you know, just kind of let it play out. Amazing things start to happen. You believe in your own value and only surround yourself with people who see it too. I'm at the mall and something just happened to me. So there was a guy that I went on a date with two years ago during my glow up journey. And at the time, I didn't really understand how much I was lacking in self-acceptance and self-love and all that. So I, like, so badly wanted him. Like, I was low-key desperate. I literally just saw him. <laughs> he was on a date with another girl, but it's so crazy because of how much I've changed as a person. It's so crazy because, like, I looked, I saw him and there was just no desire for him because I feel so whole and full on the inside. I love myself truly deep down so much now that I don't want a guy that doesn't want me. Literally, I couldn't get over that obsession. I didn't know why. I couldn't understand why I obsessed over him. And now I see it's because I so badly wanted validation in the past. And I didn't even understand that. I was like, nah, I'm not the girl who wants that stuff. But I didn't really subconsciously I did. And now I literally just saw him with another girl and I'm like, good for you and i'm just like i'm gonna go shopping now you will naturally start to defend yourself from negativity and unhealthy pressure i'm at the mall right now with my mom and my mom loves me whatever um not at all out of hate like she just wants the best for me and my mom was just talking to my aunt saying the same comment that she said to me for so many years which is like oh just wait and see like once olivia loses just a little bit of weight she's gonna look gorgeous and in the past, I always loved to hear that comment. That was like my favorite because it just put such a high self-worth on my thinner self and basically completely disregarded who I am right now. And so now when I hear that comment, I immediately just like threw it out of my head. I was like, nope, I can't tell you how much more normal my thoughts are now, now that I've truly like learned to love and accept who I am right now. That is so important, man. Like one of the things I hear so much, the people that are trying to lose weight, is they they feel like they can't, like everything is on hold until they lose the weight. And there might be certain things that just like kind of have to be, right? Like if you can't fit into a, like a amusement park ride or whatever, right? Like certain things maybe have to be put on hold, but like you don't have to put on your whole life on hold until you have glown up, right? Until you have reached this pinnacle and then everything is going to be better. One of my biggest issues with the whole glow up and that whole type of thing is that a lot of times people will put this unnecessary uh, weight on the glow up and, and they, they will think that once they glow up, <laughs> I've said that word too many times, but once they transform, everything is going to be better. Every All these issues they have, mental issues, these de depression, anxiety, um, Everything is going to get better. And I have a problem with that because I still struggle with those things, right? And I've I lost my weight and I've had it off for 10 years. Now, am I saying that losing weight isn't going to solve anything? No, of course not. Like there is a lot of stuff that it can help you with. Absolutely. And I again I've always said it's the best decision I've ever made. But I would be lying and I would feel wrong if I ever tried to portray losing weight and glowing up and whatever as the the magic bullet the silver you know the 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 silver bullet for the vampire whatever right the steak for the vampire whatever garlic i don't know <laughs> one of those things it's not that right it's it's a helpful tool but it's not it's not that and i think that putting in your mind that it's going to be that is going to set you up for what sadly happened to olivia right the those those thoughts of like wait why am i not why isn't everything better why why have i not transcended and like I'm everything's okay now right that's why it's so dangerous and so it does seem like she is seeing that more now you stop restricting yourself from the simple joys of life because you realize you deserve to be happy 
Yep. In the past, every time I came to the mall, I would say, I don't want to try on clothes. I don't want to buy any clothes because I don't want to waste money on my current self. Like only my skinny self deserves to have pretty clothes. So, and I didn't realize at the time how toxic that was, how that sends a message to your subconscious self that, hey, I don't accept you right now, so you don't even deserve nice clothes. Yep. Do you see what I'm saying? Now it's like, if I want to make myself look nice now, please do. You stop depending on other people's validation to feel good about yourself. Now I see that I really so badly wanted people to treat me better because I wasn't treating myself well. Once I started treating myself well, like I am right now, if someone's gonna treat me badly because like, okay, I'm not as thin or whatever, dude, if you don't wanna treat me as nicely because of the way I look, then I wouldn't even want someone in my life like that. Yep. If you don't use it, you lose it. Self-acceptance is a daily practice. <laughs> Ultimately, you end up with the tools for maintaining your self-worth, and that's when you know you've glowed up and are ready to go on that external transformation if you want to. So that's pretty much the whole video. She she uh, starts. She kind of talks about the dating diaries, which she talks about her her dating life. That's that's gonna be the next series on her channel. But I I thought it was so so interesting. It felt like this full circle moment. Um, I don't know how she would feel <laughs> about that, but I regardless of like how she might feel about me, I know how I feel about her, and I genuinely feel proud um, as much as a stranger on the internet can. But because it does seem that she has, one, I think she has just grown up, right? She's gotten older. I think she's matured a little bit in her thoughts on things. Um, and I think that it's this is a good thing. Like, the, the the story that she shared, regardless if it makes me kind of look bad, whatever, dude. It, it is what it is. But, like, the story that she shared from the beginning of this whole thing, the Glow Up Diaries, to the end of this video, I think it does show growth in someone and i do think that she has grown up and i do think that she is um you know in a better place and that makes me happy and so at the end of the day i just wanted to share this and i thought that this was a very very interesting um just kind of like bookend to a story but i would love to know what y'all think down in the comment section down below uh let me know i love you guys and i'll see you next time peace